Hello students, how are you all today? I hope you all are safe and enjoying the indoor vacation. I am Vishakha ma'am and I'll be teaching you science. So students, if you remember, in our previous session, we have learned about root, shoot, functions of roots and stem. In today's session, we will be learning about leaf, flowers, fruits and seeds. So let's start. First, we will understand what is leaf. We all know that leaves grow on stem. Leaves of different plants have different shapes and sizes. And we can also identify a plant by looking at its leaf. For example, Tulsi, Rose and Money Plant. Now, let's see the parts of a leaf. A leaf has a flat surface called the leaf blade or lamina. There are many thin lines present on the surface of the leaf which are called veins. These veins make a pattern on the lamina of the leaf. Do you know what is midrib on leaf? The thin tube-like structure passing through the middle of the leaf and joining the two ends of the leaf is called the midrib. Leaves also have very tiny pores on their underside. If you remember in our previous chapter, we have learned that plants breathe through small pores on their leaves. Leaves of some plants such as cabbage, fenugreek, lettuce and spinach have stored food in them. And we can also eat these leaves as vegetables. Do you know the leaves of plants growing in cold places changes their color from green to orange or yellow during autumn season? Because they receive less sunlight and thus cannot prepare enough food. Green leaves make food for the plant in the presence of air, water and sunlight. You might have this question why the color of leaves is green? Because they contain a green colored substance called chlorophyll which helps in absorbing sunlight. Leaves are also called the kitchen of green plants. Here we have seen what is leaf and the parts of a leaf. Now let's come to the next topic. So, our next topic is flowers, fruits and seeds. Firstly, we will see about flowers. So, birds grow into flowers. Flowers are generally bright in color. And some flowers may have a sweet smell too. This helps to attract birds and insects. For example, honeybee and butterfly. Flowers of some plants such as broccoli and cauliflower store extra food in them. Now let's see about fruits and seeds. Most flowers become fruits after some time. If I talk about seeds, a fruit may have one or many seeds inside it. Let's take an example. For example, mango. It has one seed. But watermelon, it has many seeds inside it. And we do not eat seeds of fruits like apples, lychees and pears. Seeds can be of different shapes, sizes and colors. Some of the seeds that we eat are pulses, wheat, gram, pea, bean and corn. Spices such as Cumin, mustard and fenugreek are also seeds. So here we are ending this session. I hope you all have understood parts of a leaf and also flowers, fruits and seeds. In our next session we will do exercise and also learn about germination. Till then stay safe, stay home and enjoy.